Hi everyone, it's Carolyn Zook with C6 Stitch, and today I'm going to do a flip through of the June, or excuse me, not June, the August 2020, 2021 issue of Just Cross Stitch Magazine. I have a subscription to this, so this um, I get in the mail and it comes directly to my house. This one that comes every other month, um, and yeah, so let's dig into it. Uh, so right away, so let me see who is the designer of this piece. This is called Summer's Day. It's designed by Jenny Barton of JB Cross Stitch. Um, and look at that scene. That is kind of like a farm scene. It has a quilt on the barn there, um, a little kid flying a kite, some little sheep. Um, there's a lot going on in here, and I really, really like it. It's beautiful. It's just such a great kind of quintessential summer day, isn't it? Um, it's a beautiful piece. It is... Um, 80 stitches high by 100 wide. And the bottom part, here's a here's maybe a better close-up. You know, there's a lot of, you know, it's pretty full stitching down here, but then as you get up higher in the sky, it, it, it levels off. Very cute. I love that. Summer's Day, that's called. This next one is gorgeous. It's by Anna Pavluk. Pa Pavluk. I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Um, this is called Butterfly, and it's a monarch butterfly, and it's just stunning the way they have it on that um, uh, kind of brown fabric. Uh, I made it into a pillow, and that's it. Simple. Your eye goes directly to it. Uh, they are not messing around on this one. Uh, this is stitched on a piece of 25-count natural pearl linen from Wichelt. Um, so that must be what that is. It's a natural pearl linen. Um, and this is 78 stitches high by 112 wide. Uh, but again, it's just absolutely stunning. Okay, this next one, this is cute. It's called Ladybug Ladybug. And it's designed by Jan Janet Bryant Groves of Crafty Cat Designs. And it's like this little sweet sampler, but there's little ladybugs throughout. Isn't that cute? They put it in a tray. Oh, I see. And it's like a little pin cushion there. Um, so it could be like a little stitching tray to hold or keep track of all your stitching uh, notions. Um, this is, uh, okay, so the tray insert is 43 stitches high by 72 wide. Not too bad. The pin cushion is five stitches high by 43 wide. So it's not too bad. Um, very, very cute. That's very sweet. Okay, this next one, this is really interesting, I thought. This is called Floral Ort Tray. My brain keeps wanting to say Art Tray, but it's Ort Tray. Um, and you can actually buy the tray, I think. So it's designed by Pam Lewis and Susan Rom of Praiseworthy Stitches. Um, yeah, it's a 14-count stitchable Ort Tray uh, from Patience Gray of Sewing Turtle Boutique sells them. And so you see the snaps here. Uh, so you unsnap it, and so it folds flat, so you can stitch it, and then you snap it up to create an ort tray. That's really, really interesting. I have never seen that or heard of that before. Um, I think that's really great design. Um, so that might open up a lot of possibilities, and of course you can put whatever design you want in there. Uh, but that's really neat. This next one is called uh, Picnic Time. Um, designed by Kathleen Berlou. 77 stitches high by 77 wide. That's really sweet. They made it into a little tray. So you could serve your like your silverware or napkins on it. Um, if you don't want to, if you're worried about food getting on it or place, you know, an acrylic um, or glass over the top to protect the stitching um, or just use it for um, things that, that aren't food related items that you still need for a picnic. Very cute. Uh, this one is... Um, Oh, I already said 77 high by 77 wide. Okay, right, this next one is our bees. Again, this is designed by Anna Pavluk. It's called Be Happy. Um, and we have the three bee designs. Look at that little uh, bee bookmark, a little bee towel. This is Be Happy, so cute. I think these are really precious. Um... These are all about uh, 88 high by 28 wide, uh, except for this one, which is 28 high and 88 wide, or the reverse. Yeah, these are 88 by 28, the bookmark ones, and this is the reverse. So they're all the same size. Um, yeah, so these are really cute. 
uh, they are they are labeled as easy. Um, there is back stitching in them, of course, but uh, very cute. All right, so they have a a year one um, sow. Um, this is a mystery sow. It's using Sullivan's uh, floss, so to get us familiar with Sullivan's, and this one is called Where the Flowers Bloom, and it's to help us um, learn new stitches. So each uh, issue, I guess, they come out with another uh, section here. Um, I think this one looks like the bottom part of these purple blocks. No, you already had that. Okay, so these little stars, and then this row. And I'm not sure what that is but this is a great sampler like if you're trying this is designed by Christy Schmitz so if you're trying to um, learn new stitches and I haven't started this I haven't even marked it but I think um, I keep every time I see it, I'm like yeah I think that would be good because I do want to learn some new stitches in practice um, especially because I have um, 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 oh, what is it oh my, my brain is blanking I have one of those the mandala um, winter's Evening in the park. I'm forgetting. I know you're all screaming at me right now. My brain just can't think of it. I have one of those really intensive specialty stitches uh, pieces um, that I have not started yet that I want to start. Okay, so this next one is called Over the, Ramp Over the Ramparts um, by Wendy Sh Shepherd. Yeah, Wendy Shepherd. So that's a really beautiful kind of Americana um, style um, pillow. Uh, this is 72 high by 72 wide. It's really pretty. I like that linen. It's um, 32 count linen from Weeks Dye Works that they use. Okay, this next one is called Liberty. Very pretty, very, very striking, right? Um, this is designed by Elizabeth Spurlock of Saving Grace's Fine Needle Arts. This piece is 66 high by 94 wide. Very striking, beautiful. Very majestic, it says. This next one is called Stars and Stripes. And this is designed by Chrissy Callahan of Turtle Bunny Creations. Um, and yeah, you can make a banner or make tags, name tags or gift tags. Uh, these are 61 high by 45 wide. And then they each one has like a little different design in it. You can see there. And so they have... So they have the center, so they give you the whole design for the whole piece once, and then they have just the different star centers, so you can kind of mix it up how you want to. Then each each uh, issue, they have a, what they call the sampler sleuth, so they give you a little bit of background on a sampler that they find and tell about the story about the sampler, which is always interesting to read, and then they have a re recreation of the sampler. So this is Jane Wilby, 1833 sampler. She was aged nine. Oh my gosh. I was not doing that when I was nine, I'll tell you that much. Um, this is reproduction um, by Pam Lewis and Susan Ramos, Praiseworthy Stitches. This is 155 stitches high by 124 wide. And it says it's intermediate. Um, I'm not sure why, it's just cross stitch and back stitch. There you go. Maybe there's color changes, a lot of color changes. Okay, so now this is the August issue. So we are starting to think Christmas. And so they're doing a Christmas ornament preview, um, which is great. And I'll, I'll show you kind of all of them at once, and then we'll do a close-up of each of them. So you get uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think you got nine. Maybe you only get eight. Eight, eight sneak peeks. All right, let's take a look at these, though. This person, this is Darling. This is by Jenny Barton of JB Cross Stitch. This is Rudolph. Look how Darling he is with the ornaments hanging off his antlers. And he just has the sweetest smile on his face. I love that one. Okay, and then the next one is called Triangle Tree. It's designed by Liz Almond of Black Work Journey. So if you want to try black work, this is another really great way to try something new. It's a small piece. You'll have an ornament either for your tree or to give away to somebody else. Uh, so this is this is pretty much all black work here. Well, I don't know if it's all black work, but mostly black work. Um, this is 66 high by 54 wide. 
All right, this next one is called Santa Gnome, designed by Kim Beamish. This is on perfor is that perforated paper? Yeah, perforated paper. Um, so that's really cute. Very cute. Oh, I'm not telling you the sizes. Santa is uh, 43 high by 28 wide. The triangle tree is 66 high by 54 wide. And the first one we looked at, the Rudolph, is 52 high by 51 wide. So these are all ornament size. All right, this next one is called Penguin Wishes by Rana Nori of Tangled Threads and Things. And this is 40 high by 39 wide. Look how cute. And he has little beads that spell out Let It Snow. And you can have it spell out whatever you want, of course. Um, that'd be a really cute way to kind of personalize something for a kid, maybe. Very cute. All right, this next one is called Royal Nutcracker Stamp, designed by Tatiana Romero of Mi Maleta Lila. It's 42 high by 30 wide, and it's, it's supposed to be like a, a stamp, like a postage stamp of a nutcracker. Very cute. I like the finishing on that. All right, this next one is called Gathering for Christmas. Um, designed by Susan Powell of Laurel Susan Studio. And this is 70 high by 70 wide. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I think that one's so pretty. Looks like a lot of colors in that one. For how small it is, kind of. All right. This next one is called Have a Holly jo or it's called Holly Jolly. It's designed by Linda Janine Jenkins. And it is 48 stitches high by 42 stitches wide. And it says, have a holly jolly Christmas. I really like that one, too. Very cute. Um, that one should go pretty fast because the, the backstitch words, right? I mean, there is some stitching. but Okay, and then the last one, I really like this one as well. This is called Christmas Peace, designed by Perry A. Hadi of Stitchor Stitchora. Stitchora. Uh, this is 65 high by 67 wide, um, and it's just a beautiful dove on this really pretty pink heart um, shape. Oh, it's so pretty. Pink Ada, 14 count pink Ada. That's what it's called for. All right, this next piece, and now we're moving out of Christmas, so get your brain back to summer. This is designed by Doreen Jones. This is called Take Me to the Sea. Look at that beautiful, beautiful piece. So if you have a beach house or want a beach house or have a beach theme, you might be interested in this piece. This is 109 high by 79 wide. It is mostly co full coverage, uh, but it's so worth it because I think it's so, so pretty. Okay, this next one is called Evening by the Lake, designed by Susan Powell of Laurel Susan Studio. And this is 80 high by 80 wide. And it's just see the little um, chairs by the campfire, uh, the mountains, and the sunset, and it's reflected in the, um, the water there. So pretty. Evening by the lake. So again, if you have a lake house or a cabin, that might be a really good option for you. This next one is called Gone Fishing. Again, designed by Susan Powell of Laurel Susan, Laurel Susan Studio. Very cute. Uh, this one is 110 high by 80 wide. Um, and I think that background, yeah, so that background is all black work. Now, you don't have to do it. You could leave it off if you wanted to and just find um, an interesting fabric. Um, but, um, yeah, that background is all black work. So if you like black work, you will like that piece. All right, this next one is called Setting Sail. I think this is, I'm giggling because I think it's so cute. Um, build your own boat. There you go, Setting Sail. Uh, this is designed by Amanda May McNaughton of Artith Design. It is 133 high by 90 wide. And of course it goes up, it's a triangle, so it's a lot less at the top. So that's really cute. That's a really cute display piece. So she can made it into that boat. Okay, so this is called Seaside Summer. This is a bookmark. It's designed by Tatiana Romero of Me, Maletta, Leela. Um, it is 80 stitches high by 30 stitches wide. 
just a sweet, simple bookmark, but look how much they fit into that bookmark scene. Uh, you have the shoreline, you have the sandy beach, the water, the seagulls. I think it's just beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, so they, the boat, the sail one, um, you can buy. They give you kind of the information on how to buy the boat. Um, so that, that would be fun. And then you could kind of paint the boat yourself, and that would be fun. Kind of coordinate it with your home colors. And then, of course, they have the cross-stitch, how to do the cross-stitch um, pieces. Here is there's some templates that you need. Here's an ad for my favorite stitch spot and got Ron Stitchery. So congratulations, guys, on that. Um, and then at the end, they are also doing a year-long um, mystery Christmas sampler. Um, so you can see where we're at so far. And this issue, you get the sleigh. And we have three more parts left. But look at that charm there so again i like this you can pull out pieces that you want if you just wanted the sleigh if you just wanted the church uh, you can do that as well so this is part four out of six and that's the issue so that is the august 2021 issue of just cross stitch magazine i hope there's something in here that you found mine is already falling apart um but I hope there's something in here that you found that you would like to stitch. Let me know what that is and if you're going to get this issue. Um, and I will see you next time. Thank you, everyone. Bye.